This is a really complicated situation. There's no lines anywhere. Gonna do it. Uh. What's up guys? Who's up for another autopilot drive? It looks like the, okay, we're, I don't know why we're drifting so far to the left. I guess we're trying to recenter and this guy is over to the right. But anyways, this stoplight is apparently out of service right now. It looks like they're fixing it. So what would self-driving do in this scenario? There's a car turning up behind us. But what would they do in this scenario where there's no traffic light? See, this is another situation that I'm not sure how they're gonna do that. Cause it's gonna have, I'm assuming somebody's directing traffic somewhere, but I don't actually see anybody. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's a cops. Oh, there he is, right there in the middle. So, see, I didn't even see him for a while. So, autopilot, full self-driving, whatever. It's got a recognized hand signaling from cops who are directing traffic in a situation like this. I don't know why we're drifting. Okay, we're straightening back out. So we are able to go. I had to kind of press the accelerator a little bit for that. So in a situation like that, would it be watching and know to go? and to stop because there's no traffic light like I don't like that's a situation right there where they need to definitely be on point because otherwise boom either an accident or a traffic jam is gonna happen when this car just decides to stop in the middle of the intersection or just go and that bus just cut across traffic I didn't know they could do that whatever but even like that too with buses I'm assuming because it has a stop sign it'll recognize a stop sign and stop so that seems like a pretty simple fix but, okay, this guy's merging in front of us. Autopilot didn't budge whatsoever. We did good, and that was a really close merge. Looks like he's going to the gas station, sucker! Ha! Okay, anyways. <laughs> yeah, the stop sign situation on a, on a school bus seems pretty simple to figure out, because it's a stop sign. Once they recognize stop signs, it'll do its job perfectly fine. No issues there. But when there's no stoplight, no stop sign, and somebody's directing traffic, that right there seems complicated, because depending on who's directing it maybe it's hard to tell that they're going like come on or stop or whatever and then when they they say stop once and then there's the traffic's going the other way so how will autopilot or full self-driving you know know to go when they're not saying anything like it needs to know to stay stopped in a situation like that when it says this when they say to stop the first time because once they move out of the way and everything's gone is the car just gonna go because it's got to wait for them to be like this. So I'm guessing the best way to do that is for it to be like, okay, they said to stop. So I'm going to turn right here anyways, though. Um, they, why the fuck, what's this cop doing? Um, I don't know. I guess he's pulling someone over. Um, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to pass him or what was going on. But um, yeah, so the car's going to be, okay, we have to stop, so we're stopped. And then we have to wait until he says go, which makes sense. Okay, looks like we're downtown now. So this will be pretty interesting. But yeah, that's the best way I could think of solving it. You stop until somebody says to go. There you go, makes sense. So now we're downtown, I think we're on Central? Yeah, we're on Central, so we're like the center of downtown right now. So we're gonna see how we can deal with, oh great, I think it's rush hour right now too. So we're gonna see how this deals with downtown rush hour traffic. Wonderful, I got on a whole tirade about, <laughs> about, <laughs> people directing traffic which i mean that's a real big problem so i, I don't know i'm excited to see how they solve that because <laughs> until they solve that definitely fools out driving won't be level five or anything close to that i mean guys it could be level four right if you have to pay attention and take over in a situation such as that but you know they got to definitely work on that and that is no easy task or maybe it is maybe just because i'm not thinking like elon and all the other engineers working on this project Maybe it's something I'm overlooking. I don't know. I think I solved it though. Stop until they say go. <laughs> that makes sense. But yeah, let's see. We're going through the intersection just fine. Now, downtown, they have a bunch of one way streets and whatnot, you know? So, <laughs> autopilot has to be able to know which way is the one way and not to go down it. I'm assuming it'll use mapping data and everything for that as well. So, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Come on, go faster, dude. I'm trying to get through this light, too. <laughs> Alright, we made it through. Happy hour, 3 to 7. Happy hour starts in 4 minutes. Huh. I don't, I don't know what that restaurant is. I wonder what kind of happy hour they got. Wait, is this, this lane looks like it's for bicycles as well, because I saw an arrow with a bike in the middle of the lane. 
So I'm kind of hoping we see a bicycle in our lane. I want to see if it shows it up as a bike or a motorcycle or what happens there. I'm assuming it'll still follow and stop for it, but I want to see if it does. Actually, in California, I'm, I think that's where bicycles and skateboards and everything you can, just goes with the regular traffic in the same lane. So that's, oh, that's got to be a disaster for autopilot. Like, I don't know how, I missed it. <laughs> Wait, I saw the arrow. We're going to have to merge over, it looks like. Um, let's see if autopilot can merge over. Hopefully this guy up to our left doesn't get in our way. Um... So when we turn on the signal, um, autopilot, is it gonna do it? Yeah, I don't think it was gonna do it. <laughs> I had to take over at the end right there. But yeah, we see all the cones. Sometimes it does a good job avoiding hitting those obstacles. He looks like, I'm gonna have to stop. No, I can make it through here. There's enough room for me. Okay, okay so right now, see if I can get in this okay got autopilot engaged um we're, we're we're we have enough room away from that reflector over there although we are merging out of the lane so this is definitely not gonna go too well let me close this gap right here because there's people behind me uh I mean it, it was it I <laughs> I don't know I kind of panic because I don't want to look dumb and possibly damage the car but it did go to the left although I felt a little bit too close for comfort so I had to kind of take over especially since everyone was there I feel like if nobody was behind me and no one was around I would have just let it go and I'm sure the mirror would be fine <laughs> maybe but you know when all these people are here like I've always seen reflectors knocked over I'm like how do those get knocked over did somebody hit all of those like one I could understand I guess barely like I don't know how you would hit one but you know whatever but when they're all knocked down in a row like 10 of them like how is that possible it doesn't make sense and I like if I saw someone do that I'd be laughing my off you know <laughs> all right so we are stopped here we have a crosswalk a bunch of people crossing so we should see a bunch of people on the display I see there's one come on there's a bike too I see one person crossing no bike and those other two people are invisible yeah, <laughs> I'm sure it sees them and it's computing for them and everything, but it's not showing us them. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter what we see on here as long as autopilot sees it and reacts to everything. Because I know there's a lot of stuff autopilot can see and calculate for that's not being shown on the display for us. This is kind of just for giggles to be like, hey, look, we can see the cars. <laughs> this is what we're seeing. We can see some stuff. But, you know. So, so far, downtown, we've had the construction zone, which I feel like it possibly could have done a decent job, maybe. <laughs> Although it got a little close for comfort, so I had to take over. And then the hand signals, which is a big issue. And we've, we've, I feel like we've only gone like a block. <laughs> we're, we're still basically where we started. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that autopilot needs to be able to master to be full self-driving. Okay, let's get re-engaged. And now hopefully everything's smooth sailing. Looks like the turning lane's starting here, so we're gonna have to merge or move over to the right, whatever. Shouldn't have an issue. Oh great, another red light. Uh, Denny's, oh, Lenny's Burgers. 99 cent corn, 59 cent corn, 99 cent root beer float. Ooh, wow. I wanted ice cream yesterday. Ooh, what's that? Lenny Sliders two for three? You know what? I'm gonna have to go here one day. Look at that, that um, Camaro's going there right now. Huh. That sounds good. <laughs> huh, next time, remind me to go to Lenny's, everybody. <laughs> I wonder if it's actually good. I mean, everything is pretty cheap. That doesn't mean it's bad. Huh. What's that, four for five or two for three? Huh, maybe a four sliders for five bucks. Ooh, that sounds good with a root beer float? Mm hmm Do we have a green light now? Come on. 
<laughs> okay, there we go, finally. All right, so now we can get through this intersection and re-engage autopilot and see what happens as we inch closer to the downtown area. All right, once again, we're gonna have to, you know, wiggle out of the way of the turning lane. Oh my God. You've gotta be kidding me. It's like these lights are all timed to stop you. Every single one of them. I don't know. This is annoying. I don't like coming downtown. There's too many people. Too many cars. Too many red lights. <laughs> too many one ways. You gotta go all the way around and go back. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. Some people do this every day. Like literally every day. <laughs> Some people choose to work down here. That's insane. But you know, I guess it is what it is. And then you have to pay to park everywhere too. Like even if you work, I think you have to pay to park. Like that's weird. You would think if you work there, you get to park for free because you're working there. All right, so come on, we're re-engaged. Oh my gosh, come on, can we make it there at least one of these? Other than being stopped and having to take over, we are making it through all these lights and all the roads rather nicely. All right, see, we're turning with the lane. Turning back, going straight, made it through a green light. What do you know? Stop here on red. Ha, <laughs> it's because it's always red. Okay, good. Now we got another. Okay, this guy's getting over in front of me. And we oh, that's nice. Okay, we actually slowed down. I'm assuming we slowed down because he was getting in front of us and merging over. Even though that's weird because he didn't really start. And it start it started slowing down. So I should stop here in case someone needs to pull out. You're not supposed to block the I guess that only goes one way. I guess I get turned back on. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't go one way. I don't know, no one's there, whatever. Point is, it started slowing down before we started getting over, but it might've been because everyone was stopped in front of us. I'm not sure if it was a coincidence or what happened, but I was impressed with it nonetheless. So that was really cool. Okay, we took that intersection perfectly fine. Oh, we got the light rail over. Okay, that's another thing. Okay, we're making it through this one. <laughs> okay, now the light rail, that thing cuts across lanes, goes in lanes. It does a bunch of crazy stuff. Now, how does the Tesla react to that? Does it see it like as a train? I'm assuming it'll... Uh, okay, here it is right here. Let's see if it pops up at all. I feel like we're really close to that guy. Is he really close? Yeah, he's with like basically in our lane on the display. Yeah, so it's in, on a track, so I guess it's, and it's way over there, so it's not showing up on the display. But when it cuts in front of us, will it show up as a bus? Will it show up as a train? Will it stop for it? Okay, we gotta, I'm gonna have to pick up some speed here. Okay, we took that just fine. I just had to pick up the speed and make it through here. We, yeah, well, that's a really complicated intersection right there. We made it through it, but I didn't want to stop at that red light. Okay, we got some more construction coming up here. This is, wow, downtown. Wow, look at this. They're all trying to turn red on me. What is going on? They're all timed together. All right, so we slowed down a bit right here. Although I guess it's because of the speed and I was going over the speed, whatever, so that's why. But we got some construction here. So, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These lights, the yellow lights are really... Okay, so we're by so much. Let's see if I'm, it's supposed to inch over to the left a bit, away from it. It isn't. Okay, I guess because we are stops. Maybe that's why. Usually when we pass it, it does move over a bit to get away from it because we are really close to it. But anyways, what was I saying? <laughs> so much stuff is happening so fast, I can't keep up with myself. Ah, uh, um, yeah. All these lights are out to get me. <laughs> Uh, okay. So like in a situation like this, there's another light on that side, a light on this side because the light rail cuts in front of one of these. I'm not sure if it's ours or the other one. And see how this knows we were close to that guy. We're moving over. Come on, we have to Okay, so right there it kinda got confused. But we did come back to our lane, so that's good. Um another red light great. Ugh. Downtown is a mess. I can't <laughs> I, I know, like like I was saying, LA, downtown or whatever, you have bikes and skateboards going through traffic and everything too. Like, that's gotta be worse than this. And this right here is stressful enough. Wow, we're actually down to 3G connectivity right now. That's the first time I've seen the Tesla connect to 3G instead of LTE. So, <laughs> I mean, I guess all the, no, the, no, that's not an excuse. You would think downtown of all places would have the best connection ever. Like this is a big, highly populated area. 
I mean, I know when I go to events at the arena, I always have LTE now, but I mean, back in the day, it always used to lose the connection inside the arena and go super slow because, you know, you're inside of an arena, which is a big structure and a bunch of people are in one place. But now they fixed that, so I'm not sure why we're getting 3G over here because the arenas are like right over here. Oh, wow. Okay, looking up right now through the glass roof. It looks amazing. Like, I'm looking at that building, you can just see the clouds passing by it. Like, that's awesome. All right, so anyways, let's see, one, two, picking up speed, good to go. I feel like we are close to this summer truck here with our stay away from him. It is lighting up red on the display, so it knows we are really close to him, or he's close to us. Somebody's close to somebody. The guy in front of us isn't even in his lane. It's showing up the X for the railroad. See, it's showing up the railroad crossing. So see right here, it cuts right in front of us. So, I mean, it's showing up the railroad crossing Okay, we have a bunch of parked cars here. It's showing up the railroad crossing. It sees the track, so I'm guess. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to stop because we'll be at a red. That guy, what is he doing? He could have got over. I don't know what he's waiting for. Whatever. But I mean, we're at a red light when the um, light rail crosses our path, so there shouldn't be an issue at that point. But if it comes into our lane, which I think in Tempe they're starting to do that, it's literally in the lane. It's gonna have to follow it like a bus, I guess, and stop for it and everything. So they got to calculate for that like it's just crazy because all streets are different depending on what state you are what city you're in how they decided to paint the lines for the day depending on what people do because people are unpredictable they could do anything and we're gonna get stopped at this light which is pretty predictable or are we not oh my god we actually made it let me i'm gonna hit the accelerator a bit okay so we made it through here <laughs> oh yeah proved me wrong made me look like an idiot now what is going on here Okay, this lane is ending and I had to take over. Because <laughs> we were just gonna go for it and this guy next to us wasn't having it. He's like, nope, in my Corolla, I'm passing you. And look at looking back at me in their sunglasses. <laughs> wow, downtown is a mess. But it like the thing is, it was going around the obstacles of those traffic cone reflector things. So it was good, except it didn't account for the guy next to us passing us and not letting us get over. So that, that guy's eating lunch and working, or is he just, maybe he's not working there? I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> we got to get out of downtown. We, not, we need to end this. Okay, so I'm going to hit the accelerator a bit so we can go. Let's see, going, like look at all this extra paint on the floor. Like That's got to be a bit confusing, although it isn't white, so it might not. Okay, right now, here we go. There's nobody behind us, nobody on our blind spot. Let's see if we can take this with autopilot. Oh my God. I don't know about this, but we're going to try it. Uh, yo, we got close to that one. Um, It started going away, but then it just started going straight. It won't let me engage it right now because this is a really complicated situation. There's no lines anywhere. There's barriers. <laughs> and so yeah, it was. It started going around it, but then it just started going straight. It was gonna definitely hit them. I know for sure for a fact. So I had to take over. Luckily, there was nobody next to us, nobody behind us. I thought that was a cop. I was like, did you just see me do that maneuver? <laughs> but it's not. So we're good. But yeah, like I'm not. Uh, I don't know. I want to definitely see a car drive through this situation right here. Because I know some people who get freaked out going through construction zones like this. And the car doing it itself, I don't know. Let me just turn here. Let me try to get out of this area. It's like, how would it even make this turn right here? <laughs> like, I don't know. Construction zones are something. I'm not sure how full self-driving will do that. Because we just turned into the turning lane that was... Well, it's not even a turning lane because that was a one-way street, I think. And it was like crossed out, whatever. It's a, it's a complicated situation. Then there's people like this who just cross the street without a crosswalk, you have to account for that. Like there's so many variables here and more construction. Like it's just a mess. I have no idea how to calculate that in an algorithm. <laughs> there's, there's so many variables. But if they do it, oh my God, I'll be severely impressed. Like, like if, seriously. Uh, you don't under some people don't understand how much a self-driving car is worth with all these variables like I if I could if I had the money I would definitely pay a million dollars easy for a self-driving car that could calculate all the different variables go through all the different predicaments take care of everything on its own without any intervention whatsoever like that's how much it's worth 
So seriously, whoever comes out with full self-driving first where it can do all that without any intervention, like if you could go as far as removing the steering wheel, oh my God, it's game over. <laughs> like, whoever does that first, first to market, uh, they are taking over. Like it's just that easy. That's just what's going on. So it looks like we're basically out of downtown, out of all that congestion, all of, out of that mess. So we're gonna end the video. Let me know what you guys thought of everything. How you guys think if, they will ever be able to do that when you think they'll be able to do it maybe if you have some experience in algorithms and ai with stuff like this maybe you have an idea on if it's even possible at this point in time because i feel like it's not <laughs> i feel like we could get level four where it's good in like situations like this where the road's clear everything's fine you have to be ready to take over if something goes awry but it can somewhat do it itself i feel like that's definitely possible but when we get to situations like that like we had the guy directing traffic, we had all the different construction work, which is unpredictable. Like it, like depending on how the workers decide to set that up for the day, depending on where they want you to go and how they want to direct the traffic, it's a mess. Let me know what you guys think of everything. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Let me know, here's a Model 3 is making me break. I had to override that because there's a guy behind us. Model 3 knew what was going on. He's like, I'm going to make this Model 3 stop. <laughs> but anyways, let me know what you guys want to see next. Let me know what you guys thought of everything. Follow me on Instagram. And until next time, I am out here.